First, though, we are starting with the incredibly sad news from the weekend after actor Matthew Perry was found dead on Saturday at the age of 54. The cause of death is still unknown, but it's been reported that he was found unresponsive in a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles. The star was best known for his portrayal of sarcastic joker Chandler Bing in Friends. And fans around the world have paid tribute to the much loved actor. Um, it's almost, we were saying this morning, a bit of a John Lennon moment, Colleen. It's mm. almost like the band will never come back together again well, and well, it, it was it just felt like a real loss at the weekend I've never met him but he's been in my life for years I think that's the thing I think with friends it felt like they were all our friends like we knew them all individually and I don't know about you but Chandler was my favorite because oh, I loved absolutely. his sarcasm and and he was brilliant comedy timing and uh, he was just fantastic and when I found out it was my sister actually texted me about half one in the morning saying oh my god Chandler's died Matthew Perry and I was so shocked. And then for the last two days with my family, including all my nieces and nephews, everyone's just so sad about it. It was so shocking and so upsetting and so, so sad. And, you know, Kira, I know Kira and her boyfriend, Max, I'm always having a go at them because they watch them over and, I mean, they could go on Mastermind and know everything yeah. about Friends. But, yeah, they've, they've been a part of our lives for every generation, it seems, and it's just shocking. I'm a bit like Kira as well. It's almost if I'm at home, even if I'm on my own, and I'll put it on for yeah. my, like, background company. It mm. sounds so weird. I've watched it a thousand times. It just, it's, there's something comforting about yeah. it. So that's what makes it feel also incredibly sad. I mean, it was translated into 104 languages, friends. Wow. <laughs> that just gives you a sense of the huge success that well, it was. You say huge success, but there's one of us who's never even watched it, Janet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally not one frame, Janet. Janet, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Living my life. Well, it's a happy show about friends. <laughs> 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 I have plenty of friends, but not the friends on Friends. But it's funny, really, last week, I mean, I've seen them all act in other things, but funny enough, I have never seen Friends. And last week, I went to the National Theatre uh, to see a fantastic play, The Confession. And on, when I was having Saints Week beforehand, my waiter came up to my table and he went, you never guessed, the guy from Friends is on the next table. And of course, I looked and it was David Schwimmer. Mm who uh, spends quite a lot of time in London. Uh, and so that was just an example of how, you know, for people of a certain generation, I mean, maybe it's because it's, it's not. It's, well, yeah, it's yeah I was generation. thinking maybe it's because I'm older than no. you lot, which you're always reminding me. But, <laughs> um, but there's no doubt that he was a fantastic actor and he did have great comic timing. And I can see that from all the, the clips I've been watching. But what I will remember him for was his kind of no messing about a, a attitude to addiction. Mm. Uh, because it's something that I've had a lot of experience with, with people I am very, being very, very close to. And I just salute Matthew Perry for his um, unashamed honesty about a disease that, you know, changed his life, that he found so hard to shake off. And he was never anything less than unbelievably honest. Mm -hmm. about it, which must have made it easier <laughs> to talk about. We have, a, fan of, we have a, a clip of um, Matthew speaking. This is just one of his most recent interviews, in fact, talking about just that. I want people to understand that they're not alone, that there are other people feeling exactly the way they're feeling, that their behavior is not insane, that they have a disease, and it's not their fault. That's so true, and I think for all of his success on screen, that was definitely the legacy that he wanted to continue, and what a powerful one. And as you say, a, a big deal for him to speak up in the way that he did, considering what we knew him for, this happy, mm -hmm. happy comedy character. And, I mean, he openly says there were, there were various series of Friends that he doesn't even remember filming. Mm. It was just a part of his life that took over, And it goes to show how that disease affects anyone and everyone. You know, you look at someone like Matthew Perry or the like, and they've got everything, like you say, they've got the fame, they've got the fortune, they can do anything they want. And this disease takes hold and it doesn't matter who you are. I think it's just a sad thing, though, that, you know, it's, it's a good thing that he's using, um, that he used his platform 
to highlight such issues and talk about such issues, but it's just a shame that there's still such a stigma attached to it where people mm. are so quick to judge rather than help. Yeah. So the fact that he did that... Is... Well, I, I love as well that the people that noticed it were... His the, friends. His friends yeah. from friends. You know, Jennifer Aniston went up to him and mm. said, you need help and we're here for you and all of that. And he was saying, how did you know? How do you know? And they don't realise that, obviously, you know, if you're that close to someone, but it's very hard to go up yeah, to because, somebody and accuse them yeah. of that or... Because most of the times they're going to go, no, I'm fine. There's well, addicts live, live parallel lives. They live the life in their head, the life they think they're leading, and then they kind of stumble through the other world and they conceal their addiction from everyone around them. Because I them. think they feel ashamed as well a lot of yeah. it and they don't want yes. to upset family and friends and they feel like they've let people down. And I think, you know, we need to tell them, no, it's a disease and there's so much help out there. Yeah. And, and talking. I also think that... Nappy Perry was addicted to, amongst other things, to OxyContin, or uh, a painkiller uh, that's caused a tremendous amount of distress and unnecessary deaths in America mm. and was over-prescribed to people who, you know, find themselves gripped by something that's supposed to ease their pain in the first place and then they can't stop taking it. And I just think we've also got to remember that the pandemic and COVID made everything worse mm. for vulnerable people of all kind, both kinds, both here and in America. So but whether it was drink, drugs or, or painkiller abuse, these people were even more isolated during that time and still are now. And, yes, there is help available, but not enough. Mm. And, you know, I just think that any government and needs to look after people who are addicts because and they friends don't... and family and friends and family yeah that, you they know, need their support too. they need their support but they also need to stop being afraid of saying to their loved one or their friend yeah I know you're I know you're suffering and I'm here for you because sometimes that's all it takes for that person to say actually yeah I need help yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. um, this is um, another very Poignant quote from Matthew Perry. He said, the best thing about me, bar none, is that if somebody comes to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. When I die, as far as my so-called accomplishments go, it would be nice if friends were listed far behind the things I did to try and help other people. Mm. So it was clearly a very huge... Yeah passion of his mm. to try and help others in the same situation. You'll never watch Friends again in the same way, really, will we? <laughs> Jana, please watch one. I just will. for us, will you? I promise, please, please. I will. After today, do it for us. Um, it's definitely worth it. There's, yeah. And there's lots to catch up on. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Um, if you would like any more details on anything that we've just discussed, there are helplines on our website.